what I want to talk about is the great escape where people are going to be moving around, moving around and running here, running there and going everywhere. And so what what am I what am I talking about? There's going to be a great escape or a great exodus for a lot of people all over the world, all over this planet. And it's not because in in most cases is is for some and it's a small few, it's because they want to, but for the majority are is because they have to. They need to. They need to move and go here and go there or go wherever they can. Because why? Well, the climate destruction is in full effect, and it has been for some time. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here with your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Morning, morning, everybody. Evolution of the Consciousness. Love is spoken here. Oh, let me get myself adjusted in my chair here. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am on this Saturday, February the 20th, the 10th, 2024, on the West Coast, east side of town, baby, baby. I thought I'd get on up. I was resting so well, I did not want to get out of bed. It was feeling good, like I knew it would. So I just wanted to come on through, you know, put some sounds in your ears. Hope that everybody is safe, protected, and doing what they need to do to keep that going. What I want to talk about today, or this morning, on a Saturday, early on this Saturday here, it's about 7.35 a.m. What I want to talk about is the great escape, where people are going to be moving around, moving around, and running here, running there, and going everywhere. And so what what am I what am I talking about? There's going to be a great escape or a great exodus for a lot of people all over the world, all over this planet. And it's not because in in most cases is is for some and it's a small few it's because they want to, but for the majority are is because they have to. They need to. They need to move and go here and go there or go wherever they can. Because why? Well, the climate destruction is in the full effect and it has been for some time. You know, we, we, we were using the luxury of saying we were in a crisis when those that are monitoring all of this so-called activity with the planet knew that we were in a destruction decades ago. But a lot of a lot of uh, quote unquote scientists understood the dangers of our destruction that we now face decades ago, but they knew the dangers to themselves and to their families if they were to disclose that, unfortunately. But then there were those that knew the dangers and the destruction of the planet and they compensated for it, meaning they chose not to say anything when they could have. There was no necessary danger to them to say certain things and to word things a certain way. You know, these are, we are supposed, you know, when we, when you call yourself a scientist, you take responsibility as to how you disseminate things, how you relay information to the people. You know, you have a lot of uh, responsibility that you, on your own free will, in most cases, chose to enter in such a environment, in such a career, in such a position, blah, blah, blah. So, in other words, a lot of a lot of so-called intellectual talking head types knew that there was destruction versus crises. In other words, they knew we would be coming to a point, and w- which we are, we're at an end point of a of a of a reality of how we are going to exist. Now, a lot of people want to put a lot of. Uh, you know, they're like spinning in your ears, you know, spinning information to you to where it, it comes to, it makes no sense, you know, if you think about it clearly and effectively. But a lot of us are just get so, so we've been so entertained all of our lives that everything is seen as entertainment, you know. Thus, 
here we are facing each other. And again, you know, I was talking to one of my friends, you know, that, you know, because, you know, I can easily make friends anywhere I go. And I really enjoy meeting certain type of people, especially the ones that are thinking, that are deep thinkers like myself and are just and don't know that the deep thinkers, but they know how to pay attention to patterns and behaviors and they could pick up certain sensing and receiving. And they, you know, and they haven't had any formal training in that, you know, because that's a genuine human skills and abilities to be able to do that. So, so many people can tap into what is going on around me. And she said, you know, she's traveling on the highway and she's been in a certain area for, you know, let's say over 20 years. You know, traffic was flowing, everything was flowing, people were flowing. But all of a sudden now, she noticed a difference as to when she's on the highway now, the massive and massive, massive amount of traffic. And she's thinking to herself, where are these people going? Where are these people going? That's what I'm talking about with the escaping, with the exodus. You know, a lot of people are. Uh, have run out of time to, uh, con- I mean, to, to, you know, for so long we've procrastinated. I've said that. So, so, so for so long we've been complacent. I've said that. But now what's happening is a lot of people have no choice when it comes to living arrangements, okay? Mother Nature is now, and has always been, in charge of this. Okay, remember the planet is a living entity just like you and I. Okay, and the planet has responsibilities and accountabilities like you and I. Okay, the planet, the earth is not waiting for no one. Okay, it doesn't wait. Who does that? Not me. In, in other words, is this planet going to stop spinning until we, you know, wake up and get it together? Okay, think about that literally. And then think about it figuratively and metaphorically. Who's going to continue to wait for you? Okay. Time has been up since, I mean, for a while. You know, with our population, with our equipments and our toys, you know, tearing down vegetation, trees, flowers, you know, causing massive, massive amount of animals to go extinct. Okay. You know, time's, time's up for that. You know, now. What we have are the effects of everything, okay? And and it's sad that we don't use our sensing and our abilities as genuine human pe- genuine human beings in the true sense because we would have recognized this in the 1800s, where we're headed, the 1900s, and now here we are. So people are going to be moving around all over the place, okay? And keep in mind, whether we, whether some people want to hear this or not, Americans are doing the same thing to other countries. Okay, we're not just being invaded here. Americans are invading other countries too, invading other islands too. They see an empty island, some that have the money to do so, and they think, you know, they think they can just come in and set up shop, which they do, and they have, and forget about who's been there for millions of years. You know, genuine human beings are all over this planet that have not made themselves known to us for reasons. Because, you know, I told you we are being watched, whether we want to accept that or not. Our behaviors and actions can be easily uh, discovered. You know, we make ourselves in some of our behaviors and actions. I mean, you don't need to be a mind reader at all. All you got to do is look at the results. And the thousands of years of results, millions of years of results. There have been, there are genuine human beings, like I said, that have not made contact publicly, and they will not, because they know the dangers of that. They know what happens to their islands. They know what happens to their land. They know what happens to their property. You think they're going to show their heads and and come out and shake your hand? You know, you so-called explorers, but you are nothing more and nothing less than are invaders as well, okay, because it's done behind the scenes. Nobody knows. Everybody's so busy. We can't pay attention to things. We we can't concentrate. We're forgetful. So, 
Yes. A lot of people are going to be moving around. A lot of people, you know, they waited until it was too late to move. They kept rebuilding on pieces of land that was constantly being destroyed by Mother Nature. They kept wanting to rebuild on the east, on those some of these coastal areas, you know. And now what? Now what's going to happen? So now everybody wants to come into certain communities and invade it or steal it, come into co- certain countries and demand free service. I mean, it's, I mean, what, what what is that? How volatile is that? You know, to come in and say that certain people are not taking care of their land and not taking care of their property, so you have the right to take it. I'm talking about these government, quote unquote, leaders, intimate domain. You know, they they like to throw that up in. In, a, in the face of people who have not done a goddamn thing wrong, but yet your property is going to be taken, your livelihood is going to be affected, you know? So we we did this to ourselves. And this is not just my generation, my parents' generation. This has been going on for thousands of years, hundreds and thousands of years of neglect and complacency and blaming other people. And greed, of course. Greed is what's happening in my generation. I'm not sure about my parents, but I'm sure I'm sure it, greed has always been the common denominator. And that's what you need to pay attention to as well. What are, what are the common denominators in certain catastrophes and destructions that we're facing? What's the common denominator? Who benefits from complacency? So... Don't just point fingers at the the current quote unquote migrants. They're called migrants now. They were called immigrants at one point, and then they were called aliens at one point. And you know, words have energy, but a lot of words have lost value. And then, as a matter of fact, a lot of words are 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 so condensed with causing people to go into trances. If you say a certain word, you are immediately in a trance because of the powers that were bestowed upon certain words. And we didn't understand the power of our words, the might of our thoughts, and what we conjured up. It's a fortified encasement of negativity that surrounds our planet. And if we had the right tools, we'll be able to see these, see these certain invisible things that are not there. So remember, but just because it, you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Okay, it's there. Unfortunately, we allowed ourselves to become so quick to be techno, you know, be into the technical aspects of things instead of the humane aspect of things. Our toys, our equipment, you know, our technology is 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 well above control. You know, our technology is out of control. Our technology is going to turn on all of us. And we are going to, we are going to be unable to do anything about it, unfortunately, for a lot of people. You know, your technology is going to take over and run your life, so to speak. We allowed that back in the 80s when we went online, quote unquote. So don't be surprised, you know to have neighbors come into your communities and attempt to take over and be demanding and expecting everything to be given to them. Whether you have been displaced, whether you are migrant, whether you are unhoused, we're all going to be reaping that and uh, experiencing that. And and you, and then that's when you're going to see how monstrous we are because a lot of people are not going to be able to, you know, a lot of people get on television and rambling and talking about how wonderful and how much they care about people and, you know, and this and that and the other because they're living in luxury and they don't have to lift a finger for anything except get on television and get themselves propped up to be rambling and, and talking about how wonderful this and wonderful that. And then they go back to their, you know, hidden housings, whether it's underground, in caves, on top of mountains, and they, because they, they, they believe that they don't have to deal with it. And then that's when you're going to see how monstrous people are. They're going to want to, they will harm others. They will use these weapons that they've been 
you know, they have been stored away for decades upon decades because they're not going to like it when, you know, someone else, some, something comes into their neighborhood and start invading them. As, 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 like I said, Americans are doing that to other countries as well, other so-called abandoned islands. You know, how did these islands become abandoned? Hmm, that's a good question. You know, and again, remember bacteria and viruses l- lurk everywhere, all over the stars and moon and mountains, including Mars, including the moon. They're all filled with bacteria and viruses, which are living entities, if you, you know, if you understand that. So get ready for the big escape coming to the neighborhood near you. Evolution of the Consciousness, Love is Spoken Here. I'm Michelle Carruthers. Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at missmichellecarruthers at gmail.com.